right, what's up guys? So summer is officially here for sure. Um, just wanted to run over this, this quick video. It's not gonna be very long, but it can really stomp some techs, especially some newer techs. So um, we're gonna go over this real quick and uh, it shouldn't be a very long video at all, but I, I really think it'll help a lot of people. All right, so at the outdoor unit, you can check uh, first, you have a call for cooling, okay? But nothing's happening out here. Um, so I always check my, my 24 volts, seeing if I'm getting it. And I am getting it. And um, I'm getting it at the contactor, but the contactor is not pulling in. Um, so it's always going to be something to do with what's being broke through this wire. So you have the, the one side is going straight to the contactor on your, on your blue wire. It's going straight up to it. And you see this one has got the yellow wire and it is hooked up through all of these, which in turn is going to both of those switches right there. The fan blade doesn't move. So those two switches is what it's going to, which is your low and high pressure switch. The way to check this really quick is get you a jumper and you want to Connect one side to your ground, and then the other to your contactor. So realistically, you're bypassing these switches by using your jumper and putting your uh, your common, getting your common back on ground. Once you do that. You get that jumped out, everything comes on and runs. You know you're dealing with something in between where your wire, wire nuts are and the contactor, which is gonna be those two switches. Now you can go in and check to see if they're closed or open with your, uh, with your multimeter um, and to find out which one is which. Um, I believe with these trains, we just order it, it come, it's a kit with both, but uh, you definitely don't wanna have to do both if you don't want to. So we'll go in there and you check to see which one's open. But the first thing you wanna do, you don't wanna just automatically say that the pressure switch is bad. Let the unit run, check the pressures, make sure there's, there's no restriction or anything that calls in the head pressure to, to, to go, head pressure to go way up and cut it out on, on a high limit, high pressure, because then it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So just, uh, just check it out thoroughly after you do that. That just gives you an idea. If you're really scratching your head and you're like, you know, I'm getting 24 volts to this contactor, but it's not pulling in. Most of the time, new techs will just replace, try to replace the contactor. Not gonna work. Um, so, in the meantime, while you order those switches, you can always just put a, a jumper on that and leave it so they can have AC, um, as long as your pressures look like they're supposed to. Um, I do see a lot of high and low pressure switches going bad. So, um, just a quick tip for you. I hope this one helps somebody. And we'll see you at the next video.